For this second example, we're going to use a little bit more complex program. We're going to use the scores with list and loops. So this was your last program form from the other pro, um, assignment. And we're going to use this one as an example. So let's just kind of do a quick review. When we're looking at abstractions, we're going to look at things that are helper functions. This one's been organized pretty well. So we've got these three helper functions, these four. And I believe we picked display, at least I did. I picked display as my abstraction. And then these right here, these three plus the draw are our event handler functions. If you're not sure, remember you can always look down here wherever you have buttons. These function names are your event handler functions plus draw. And anything else, um, unless you have a text box as well, will usually be a helper function. So if you don't do a great job of organizing your functions, you know how to be able to identify them. And I would organize them, you know, even if you do it later. So for an algorithm, we're going to look at one of these functions. Now, if I look at draw, like I did in the first example, draw did a lot in the other program, but here all it's doing is displaying text. I can see that it's not calling any other function, so I'm not going to use draw as my main algorithm. I'm going to take a look at one of these three. Okay, now this one right here, it's not really calling multiple things either. It's calling display, and it's using an abstraction, but it's not doing two different function calls. If I take a look at this one, I'm calling is valid. And I'm calling display. So this one is calling at least two functions. If I come down here and look at this one, um, I only see it calling display. So my best choice, if I want a main algorithm with two sub algorithms, I need to select scores known. So I'm going to come here to example number two, scores with list, and I'm going to put scores known. And that's fine if there's only one choice. As long as you have one, that's good. What are my two sub algorithms? Well, I have is valid and I have display. And where are they called? I want to just make sure that they are called from the main algorithm. So is valid is on line 69 and display 72. All right now we're going to do a snippet of the main algorithm. So I'm using scores known. I'm going to come to my snippet tool. Do this so I can get my good snippet. Copy it. I'm going to come paste in here. If you're using Word, there's another way to do it, but this way always works, so that's good too. Now, where do I find logic? So I'm going to look in scores known. Do I see some math and or logic in here? Well, I've got an if statement. So that's logic right there. I don't really see a lot of math going on, but I definitely have logic. I don't have to explain it right now. I just have to know that it's there. So if statement means I have logic. I don't have to have both as long as I have one or the other and at least one algorithm. Well, let's, while we're here, let's take a look at is valid. Does it have anything? And let's take a look at display. Okay. So. When I look here at is valid, I also see an if statement. So there's some logic going on there. And then what about display? Well, display doesn't have any if statements, but I do see right here I'm calculating the average. So I am I'm doing some math. So I'm going to say calc average, which is getting, which is math. So I'm definitely going to meet the requirement. I have a main algorithm, two sub algorithms that work independently, and I know that because they're their own functions, and I have some math or logic in at least one. That's the requirement when it comes to algorithms, that you'll be able to do this. So I'm going to give you four more programs to try this out. Uh, it wasn't this one. This one was, I was just filling things in the wrong place. But guess the number, dice simulation, scores with loops, and falling cherry. So you've seen the other three. Falling cherries is one that we haven't investigated yet, but it's definitely one that you finished, and it's a great example to find algorithms. And I would just challenge you when you look at falling cherries, uh, what abstraction would you pick as well? So that's going to be your assignment. Any questions, just um, hit me up with chat or an email, and I'll help you out.